Yes, Israel will be this big someday because God promised it, my friend. And if he promises it, it's going to happen, whether you like it or not. (laughs) All right, let's watch this, you guys. We're going to be looking at Ezekiel and how this huge portion of land is going to become Israel. It's called the greater Israel. It's promised by God. It will happen someday. So here we go. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it goes way over here by the Euphrates River. Um, we're not sure on the southern line exactly. Some say it goes way down here like this, um, but it goes to the Egyptian River, which most believe it is a Nile. Some say it's just dried up this other river, but it goes way up here to the north in the area of Turkey and then along the whole Mediterranean coast, which is great news because I love to surf. I'm from, I was born in Santa Cruz, California. Um, I was even uh, a pro surfer for just like a year. <laughs> I used to love to surf it was my passion and Israel has great surf by the way and I can't wait to go surfing there I'm going to Israel this January 15th through the 23rd 2025 I can't wait I'm going to report to you with live stream so don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below you won't miss a thing my friend hit the little bell too and it's all free don't worry about it it's all free but I'm going to be bringing this book see Jesus my new book see Jesus in the Old Testament it's an amazing book because it because it points out all of the places where Jesus is found in the Old Testament, you guys. That's why it's amazing because it points to Jesus. So super stoked on it, you guys. This trip's going to be awesome. So let's get into this presentation, right? There it is. The greater Israel, Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39 speak of what? It speaks of this war. And it could be that right now we're seeing the beginnings of it because these countries are pointed out in Ezekiel 38, 39, Persia, which is Iran, uh, the area of, of Magog, which is the area of Russia. And it says the far parts of the north. What's the far parts of the north from Jerusalem? Moscow. Yep. And then also Turkey, which would be like the areas of Gomer and uh, and uh, Tukarma, Beth Tukarma. That would be the Turkey. And Turkey recently, this is what's uh, crazy about the whole thing is because Erdogan, the president of Turkey, says he will get involved. He's like threatening Israel, saying, I'm going to get bring in direct action against you, a war against you, Israel, he's saying, because of Gaza. That's what he's saying. And there's actually in the north, there's actually Russian troops over here to the north right now of of Israel on the border in the mountains of Israel, just like Ezekiel says, in the area of, of Syria, right? And then we know Hezbollah is there, which is basically Iran, which is Persia. So it's an amazing thing. It may happen, may not. We don't know for sure, but these things are lining up, my friend. So pay attention to this stuff. And it's all there in Ezekiel. Amazing stuff. So this is what Israel looks like today, about here this big. This is the Sea of Galilee up here. And then you have the Dead Sea and you have Jerusalem right in here, you guys. So pretty amazing uh, picture here, the satellite imagery. Here's the whole Mediterranean coast. Um, so that's what it looks like today. However, It's going to be much larger because here in Ezekiel, it promises all of this land, huge amount of this land, and it will all belong to Israel because it's going to go right along this river. And uh, God laid it out in great, great detail. So he also laid it out this way. These are the divisions of the new Israel. So take a look at this. I'll put it on the bigger screen here so you can see it. But up here would be the area of dan that north area then it would be asher all this land then naphtali manasseh ephraim right reuben judah right there and it looks like it's encompassing the sea of galilee and this would be the area of the prince or the prince's portion as it's called and it's a pretty amazing thing right because it's the biggest area it's the area where jerusalem is it's the area where the priests are the levites are up there to the north right and the priest portion and then jerusalem would be right down there where it is today and that's where the new temple would be and then it goes down to benjamin simeon issachar zebulah and gad but look at the size of that. That's what's promised in the Bible. At a minimum, it's that. So Israel's about that big. There it is today. That's how you would see it, right? And then during Solomon's reign, it was much, much bigger. This was the greatest land uh, footprint was during the reign of Solomon, right around 967 uh, BC, before Christ, right? 
But there's much, much more. That wasn't the fulfillment because he didn't get all of that land that was promised to Abraham that God pointed out. And also the land that's in Ezekiel. This is the footprint. Much This is what it would look like, you guys. Now, the southern area may not be like that. It may be cut off a little bit more of a straight line like this. We're not sure. But this is all the land that God promises much, much bigger, right? So this would be it during the Jesus's reign, right? The Messiah's reign, the thousand year reign. And this is exciting, you guys. This is what we could look forward to. And there it is again, divided up. Uh, pretty cool stuff, right? So it's going to look something like that. There's existing Israel. This is what the, the new greater Israel will look like in the, the map of, of that region. So it's so exciting. Hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, my friend. You won't miss a thing. Right now we're doing a series, How to Find Jesus in the Old Testament. We're in Ezekiel right now, as you can see, but uh, it kind of parallels the, the book here, Sieges in the Old Testament. And you won't miss a thing. So it's all free. You can subscribe for free. You can hit the bell. You won't miss a thing. I'm going to be reporting live to you from Israel, from Jerusalem and other places in Israel, January 15th through the 23rd, God willing. And I'm excited about that, my friend. So, hey, you could check out all the videos here um, on this playlist right here, How to Find Jesus in the Old Testament. So click on this playlist, my friend.